Alrighty gang, it's going to be a five minute video to make up for the first part of the other one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm assuming you've installed Python 3.7. We're going to launch idle and we're going to write about a five line program. So what am I going to do to launch idle? Easiest thing to do is just go to the search bar. Now this is Windows 7, so the search bar isn't somewhere else, but you know how to do it. If you're on a Mac, you know how to search your machine. So we're looking for IDLE, that's the Integrated Development Editor, named after Eric Idle from Monty Python, because the inventor of the Python language likes Monty Python. Alrighty, so I ran that. I was expecting to see the window pop up. Where's my idle window? I'm gonna make a liar out of me. Here we go. Alright. What I'd like for you to do is like at the top of your program, put your name, what lecture you're watching, or what homework assignment it is. And this is a simple conversion program. That's what this is. If you like putting the date on there as well, that's totally cool. Alright, so what is this program going to do? The program is going to convert from kilograms to pounds. Convert from kilograms to pounds using the formula pounds equals kilograms times 2.20462. That's what we're going to do. Now your homework can be a little bit more detailed than that, but not too much more detailed than that. And what we're doing here sets you up perfectly for the homework. So this and the rest of the video that you will be watching give you more than ample information for doing the first assignment. Okay, so I need to tell the user what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to use a print statement just to display some information on the screen, tell them what we're doing. Kilogram to pounds conversion. Right. So that's the function. And then after the function name, we need parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we need the argument to pass to that function. Fills in the parameter variable inside that function. We don't see the source code for that function. That's OK. Python gives it to us. Now we're to ask a question. Print parentheses, quote, how many kilograms? How many kg? Question mark. End quote, end parentheses. Now I'm going to use an input statement. I'm going to get input, allow the user to type in from the keyboard. Because if I ran this just right now, I think I'll go ahead and save my work. Never save your work in the Python 37 directory. If it defaults there, create another folder somewhere else. So I guess I'm just going to create one off my desktop right now because that's pretty easy. And I'll call it CIT1203, something like that. And why not just call it Lecture B? And this is the second lecture. The first one didn't get recorded, but it was just a syllabus. And then .py, but if I leave off the extension, it does .py anyways. Alrighty. So if I run it now, it displays a message. Okay, and maybe I did not go through this quickly enough. You may let me launch idle again. I'll open that window again. I just grew concerned about something. When you launch idle, it's going to go up. It's doing something different on my machine than it would have on yours. What you would have seen is that. That's what it comes up for. So if you've been typing in commands here, I apologize. When I type the video, I'll try to make very clear. I mean, when I post the video, I'll try to make very clear that you're supposed to do file new as the first thing. Mine is defaulting to creating the window, the programming editor window. You can configure, configure yours to do the same thing. I'll do that at another point. All right, so I need to go back to my file. Right, I had a file going, so I'm just going to do file, recent, files. Right, file menu, recent, files. Or if I was going to make a new one, I would do file, new file. Since I've already got one going, I'm just going to do file, recent, files. All right, so now when I run it, it prints kilogram to pounds conversion. How many kilograms? Well, let's let them type it in. Kg equals input, parentheses, end parentheses. That lets them type it in. How many kg? Notice that the cursor was showing there for a while, but if I type there, it wasn't going to work. I had to have the cursor here. That was my mistake. I think I clicked the up arrow or clicked on the mouse. 
So I would like to display a little thing letting them know where to type. So inside my input statement, I'm going to pass in an argument between quotes. You can either use apostrophes or double quotes in this particular language. And I just put a greater than sign there. That shows them where to type, right? That makes it real easy for them to know where to type. All righty. We've let them enter it. We need to do the conversion. We can't use the formula yet, though, because what they typed in is known as a string. Keyboard input comes in just as a series of typewriter keyboard presses. You can't do math with that. It has to be converted. It is stored in a variable called kg, but we can convert that to the correct type. kg is equal to float, and we will explain all of these terms in subsequent lectures. But float just means a floating point number with a decimal point, 1.23456. There's another word that you could use, int, but that only supports whole numbers. And what if they wanted to type in 2.5 kilograms? So I'm going to leave that as float. Now that we have our variable and it actually is a number, right? so convert to a numeric float so we can do math. And this is a comment describing what that function called did. All right, let's do the math. We've gotten our input. We're ready to do the formula. LBS equals KG, I could just copy and paste, huh? Asterisk 2.20462. Now I've calculated it, right? If I run it, you see what I'm doing there when I run it. Hope that you've noticed. Run, run module. All right, how many kilograms? 100. Okay, it didn't print it out. It didn't print out the answer. The answer's ready, right? It's there in computer memory, but we have to display it on the screen. So we're going to print, parentheses, quote, that equals space. I don't even need a space. So that equals, end quote, comma, and I put a space after my comma, you don't have to do that. And then the variable that's holding the result, which is LBS, comma, quote, pounds, period, end quote, in parentheses. Our program's finished. I hope. Hope I don't have any syntax errors. So I need to type in whatever kilograms I'm curious about. How many kilograms, you know, a thousand of them is 2,200 pounds. Well, you know, it's almost exactly a ton, isn't it? Something like that. Nah, a little bit off. But anyways, that is the correct answer. So our program is finished. So for the lecture, when you're done watching the other part of the video, right, when you watch the second video, what are you going to do? You can upload this file if you typed along with it. Also, you're going to want to fill out a video review form. The video review form is located under modules in our Canvas section, video, lecture video form. Just download it and fill it out. And then upload that to the Dropbox. And if you're going to upload the, uh, your source code as well, if you typed it in, great. So your name, which video did you watch, the date watched, did you look at the daily notes from the video? Well, there's not going to be any from this first 10 minute one, but you know, the second part, yes, definitely. And what did you learn? You know, tell me like four things you learned from it. What did you learn here? How to launch idle, right? Maybe you knew all this stuff from an earlier class. Just list some stuff anyways. All right. So then you would save that and you would upload it. For your homework, I want you to take screenshots. You don't have to do that for the lectures. But for your homework, I want you to take screenshots and upload those as well as the source code. You find the information about that in modules, class information, taking screenshots of your work. And probably everybody already knows how to take screenshots and there's like 17 different ways, you know, and then if you're using a Mac, there's, you know, several different other ways. So just read that document. Basically, I just hit the print screen button and then open Word and paste it, right? And then I'm done. All righty. So I think we're done. Go ahead and watch the second video now. And please text me if you have any questions over it. Thanks.